Dr. Harcourt. In this video, we're going to look into the popular interview question, Validate Binary Search Tree. Understanding and implementing this validation algorithm is crucial for ensuring the correctness of the binary tree structures. Let's dive in. So given root of a binary tree, determine if it's a valid binary search tree. A valid BST is defined as false. The left subtree of a node uh, contains only nodes which are less than the nodes key. The right subtree of a node contains only nodes with the keys greater than the nodes key. So both the left and the right subtrees must also be the binary search trees. So basically here uh, the task at hand is to determine whether the given binary tree is a valid binary search tree. A, ba a binary search tree is a binary tree in which for each node the values of the nodes in the left subtree are less than the nodes value and the values of all nodes in the right subtree are greater than the nodes value. So our goal is to design an efficient algorithm to, def uh, to validate whether the binary tree satisfies these conditions. So in example one, uh, we are given this tree. So we see that the tree uh, valid, uh, like the tree uh, supports these conditions, right? So this is one is less than two and the three is greater than two. So it's a true. So here, uh, even uh, we see here 154 uh, is like, it's not correct, right? Uh, here, five uh, is greater than four, which is not true. This should be applicable for all the trees in the right, right subtree. So, but here the five is greater than four. So it's not a property of the BST. So it's false. The root nodes value is five, but it's right cell value is four. So here, yeah. so this is false. But we, here, here we see that this structure is followed. Since this is not followed for this level, uh, we return false. So the constraints, uh, the number of nodes in the tree is in the range of one to 10 power four. So node value is in the enclosure range of minus two power 31 to two power 31 minus one. So this is the uh, given boilerplate code. We need to fill this. So let's look into the algorithm. The first step, recursion with the range constraints. We'll perform a depth first traversal of a tree, passing down the valid range of values for each node. At each node, we'll check if the value lies within the valid range determined by its ancestors. Next is base case handling. So if a node's value violates the valid range, we'll immediately return false, indicating the tree is not a valid BST. If we reach a leaf node that is null, uh, we'll return true, uh, indicating that the subtree is rooted at the node is a valid BST. So the third thing is the recursion call. So we'll recursively validate the left subtree and the right subtree and update the range of constraints accordingly. So why range was checked here? So it's because the simple node comparison has limitation. So just checking if the left uh, and left value is less than the root node's value and the root node value is less than the right, uh, right child's value uh, at each node is not sufficient for a BST. So this local check doesn't guarantee that entire subtree respect the BST properties. So for instance, a node deep in the left subtree could have a greater node value uh, than the root of the tree. So which would not be capped by the simple node-based comparisons. Why, uh, so here we take the range-based validation. So by using the minimum and the maximum values as a bounce, so passed on recursively here, we can ensure that every node in the left and uh, subtree is smaller than the root and every node in the right subtree is larger than the roots. So let's look at the flow chart. So we start at the root of the BST and then we check if the node is null, we return true. And then if no, uh, we check if the root value uh, lies in the max, uh, like min to max value. If no, we return false. And then if as, we check if the, uh, we validate the left subtree uh, and then uh, we, we call this function recursively. Uh, which takes left min value and root value and then and with this we check if the left is valid and then if no we return false after this is valid we check for the right subtree similarly and then um, here we check if it is the right subtree is valid if no we return false if else we return true so let's look into the dry run let's consider the binary tree 2 on 3 so the initial call is a valid bst uh, and the root so we call with the root, root is equal to two and the min value is uh, minus infinity and max value is max value is infinity. So we're taking this uh, upper bound or lower bound for the uh, range based validations. So 
uh, now the recursion is in the node 2. So we check if the 2 lies within the range of minus infinity to plus infinity. So here it's true, so we return true. So we recursively call is valid by a BST helper, which we're gonna define later in our code. Uh, and the, this would be called in the left and right subtrees. So first we would be calling this uh, helper with the range of one minus infinity and two, because this is the range, right? Uh, this is the lower value and this is the higher value. So basically we pass the root and the ro uh, lower value and the higher value. And then here, this lies within the given range, so we return true. So the left subtree is valid because uh, here for one, there is no left subtree, so it's written true. And then uh, we call uh, is uh, BS, like we call the same uh, recursive function on the right tree, like three, two, and infinity. Uh, so here it's true because uh, three is greater than the minimum value, which is true, and less than the maximum value, which is infinity. So here uh, we can see that the both left and right subtrees are valid, so we return true for node two. So in conclusion, uh, the binary tree two one three is a valid BST as per the defined algorithm. So let's look into the code. So here we have the given boilerplate code uh, is valid BST. So on top of that, we wrote a new method is valid BST helper. So which takes the root and the min value and the max value. So here we pass in the root as a root and min value as a float of negative infinity and the max value is a float of positive infinity. So this is just to uh, get hold of the minimum value and the maximum value for a range based comparison. So and then let's look into the is valid BST helper. So here on uh, the first step we're doing uh, the if not root written to that means that we're checking if the root is null. In that case we just return true. Why? Because like uh, it might be the case where it might reach the uh, leaf node. So there is a valid BST starting with the current root node. So and also the other case is like empty tree is a valid BST, right? So because the BST can be empty tree. And then in the next thing we're checking uh, the negation check here basically. So if the root dot value is less than or equal to min value or the root dot value or greater than or equal to the max value we return false because the root dot value should always be greater than the min value and the root dot value should always be less than the max value. So it's never these conditions would be met. So that's why we return false. And then we just recursively validating this for the left and the right subtrees. So here we're just calling uh, the same thing for the left tree uh, by passing the min value as a min value and the max value here is for the left subtree we have the max value only the root value, right? So that's why we send root dot value. And for the right subtree, the min value changes here. Uh, so here the min value is the root dot value itself because right subtree always all nodes is greater than the uh, root values, right? So that's why we just send the root dot value as a min value here and the max value remains same, max value. So at the end, we just have a uncheck for left valid and the right valid because both trees it should be valid BST to become the root node to be a BST. So that's why we have the uncheck here. Complexity analysis. So the time complexity. The time complexity of algorithm is O of n where n is the number of nodes in the binary tree. So space complexity is O of n due to the recursive stack where n is the height of the binary tree. Demo in conclusion. So I got the code ready here. Let's try submitting this. So yeah, it beats 80% of the users with Python 3. So it's a good solution. Conclusion, validating whether the binary tree is a BST is crucial for ensuring the integrity of the tree-based data structures and algorithms. In this tutorial, we'll explore an optimized approach to validate the binary tree as a binary search tree. So by implementing this algorithm, you're equipped to efficiently determine the validity of the binary trees, maintaining the correctness and the reliability of your code. Remember to consider edge cases and thoroughly test your implementation to guarantee its accuracy. So with these skills, you're ready to tackle the complex tree the problems with confidence. Thank you for tuning to the episode of Hacker. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more good tutorials and follow If you have any questions, thank you for the topics. Please click the link below and the next time, have a good day.